Hey guys, Tron here, and welcome to this How to Boost FPS in All Your PC Games in 2017. That's right guys, 2017, a new year, and a new FPS tutorial. Now, if you guys are noticing my voice, I am pretty sick, but I did want to make this video for you guys just because I thought it would help you guys out. So, for the first step, it is to, obviously, get your latest drivers for your graphics card. So for NVIDIA users, it's a lot easier. You can just go in the description below and or just search it up on Google, GeForce Experience, and this will be a desktop app that you can download. And it easily just gives you new updates and recommends your latest driver. So you can see if you have the latest driver right here by doing check for updates, and I do have the latest driver. That will increase my FPS a bunch. But if you guys don't know what driver you have, all you have to do is go over to your control panel by searching control panel, going over to your device manager under hardware and sound, and then device manager. After that, you can go over to display adapters, and you can see your graphics cards right there. So I have the Intel and the NVIDIA. Uh, normal computers will have Intel, or you'll have NVIDIA, or AMD. If you guys have AMD, NVIDIA, or Intel, I will leave a link in the description below for all of them where you can look up your latest driver and update that by downloading it directly from their website. Another step is to go back into your control panel and go over to hardware and sound and power options. Now make sure the preferred plans has high performance checked and then click on change plan settings. Now go over to change advanced power settings and scroll down until you see processor power management. It should be the third one from the bottom. Now click on min minimum processor state. Make sure the setting is on 100. If it is not, change it and click apply. And that's all you have to do for that. Now the next step is actually going and holding control, shift, and escape on your keyboard. This is going to be on the left side of your keyboard. All of them starting from the bottom, control, and above that is shift, and all the way up onto the top left of your keyboard is escape. So hold all those buttons down starting from control, shift, and then escape. And then that will activate your task manager. Doing that, you can go over to your processes and close any background processes before you start up your game. So say I'm going to start up CSGO, I would close all these background unnecessary processes just running in the background and just basically and basically just wasting your FPS. So you can go over to one of them and click end task and that will close out all of them. Now another step is to go over to your startup and disable everything that is unimportant. Now this won't necessarily boost FPS, however it will boost your computer's speed which will help you in the long run with your gaming. Another step is to go down into the search bar again and search temp and search percent temp percent and this will bring you to a folder. Now you'll see a folder, normally you'll have a lot more than me, but I recently deleted everything. That's what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to select it all and delete. And then do, do this for all the current items and skip. Because not everything is deletable. However, that's okay because that's just normal. And the reason why you're, why you're doing that and it's okay is because those are all temporary files just wasting your space and they're unnecessary. So deleting that every couple of days is what I recommend. And that's what I do. And it does speed up your computer and give you a little bit of an FPS boost. It may not be a lot, but it all helps down in the long run. The next step is go to your file explorer and right click on this PC, go to properties. Now go to advanced system settings and over to advanced performance and settings. Now I, I recommend doing custom and uh, selecting or unchecking everything, or you can just do adjust for best performance. However, I do like doing custom and put in show thumbnails instead of icons. What that does is, I'll show you right now actually. 
So you see this picture right here? I cannot see the thumbnail. But if I change it to show them thumbnails instead of icons, I can see a little preview of the thumbnail, which is I like to see. And uh, it doesn't really change your FPS a lot. Now doing this will make your computer look a little less nice. And I'll show you I'll show you the difference from the best appearance to best performance. Now, no, it is not that big of a change. However, some people may not want to do this. However, I do recommend doing this because it will not run in the background and your computer won't have to worry about the appearance of your desktop and they can worry about the game instead of the appearance. The next step is to go down into your search bar again and search run. Then you're gonna to wanna to type in msconfig and click okay or enter. And this will bring your and this will bring up system configuration. Go to your boot, then make sure your timeout settings is up to 10 seconds and check no GUI boot. Then go over to advanced options and check number of processors and choose the highest number available. This is going to allow all of your processors to be enabled, which will give you the most FPS. If you don't really know what that is, it's hard to explain. However, just it will boost your FPS. So I would do it. I really recommend doing that. That's a very important step. Now go back to run MS config and go over to services. Now click hide all Microsoft services. And here you're going to want to uncheck everything that is not important. For example, I unchecked Google Update. This is just running in the background and it's not important. However, I did keep everything that is important. So you see like Intel, Intel, Nvidia, Razer, I kept all of that because those are important and those are necessary to run my computer. However, having Google Update service running in the background is unnecessary and it will slow down your computer. So you can disable all and go through every one that you need to keep and just click OK. That'll speed up your computer as well and give you some more FPS. Now, obviously, the final tip is to invest in upgrades or a new computer as a whole. So many people are having issues with FPS because let's face it. Your computer sucks. Now, don't get me wrong. I was in your shoes before, but I've saved up from like birthdays and stuff like that and finally invested into a computer. Now, I recommend reading up online and learning about the computer you're investing in. If you're investing in a, like a gaming computer or a gaming laptop, something like that. Trust me, you won't regret it at all. I don't regret it. And it is probably one of the better decisions of my gaming quote unquote career <laughs> but it's just it's a great it's a great decision I made because now I can run basically any game I want in the higher quality settings so I can get the the plus effects of both a good looking game and I can run it with high FPS which is what all gamers really want and again I know it may be hard to get however doing this will give you more FPS and it's probably the most obvious solution to doing it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial on how to boost FPS in all PC games in 2017. If this video has helped you in any way, shape, or form, please comment in the comment section below and let me know how it helped. And if it has not helped, please let me know how I can help you. How I can help you fix it. If you have any problems, just please let me know. And if you have enjoyed, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in a couple days for the next one. Peace. Uh, yeah. Living life like this. Gotta paint a picture when I write like this. Tales from my hood, not a sight like this. Where they get to no good on a night like this. And they murder motherfuckers just cause. Type of shit I seen, you probably wonder what I was. I was in the crib just sitting on a rug. Bass says coming through looking for the plug. Now, born and raised in my area. Beautiful by day by night, it's a